Okay, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Old Man Rebel coming at you from Buckeye, Arizona. Happy Monday, folks. 15th of April, 2024. Remember, lads, you gotta file them damn taxes on or before midnight. <laughs> yeah, me and Mrs. Rebel already took care of all that. Uh, we ended up owing uh, the IRS... I don't know, 45 bucks. Then we got like, I don't know, three, four hundred dollars back from the state of Arizona. So, you know, I look at it like this, guys. You know, if if you can, if you can do your taxes and come out a wash, I'm happy with that. Uh, Considering the fact that me and Mrs. Rebel have been fighting the IRS for God knows how long. You know, every year we've been owing like two thousand dollars here. 1500 there just really screwed us right so hey if I only have to give them $45 I'm smiling I'd like it to be zero but hey I'll take $45 over you know two grand you know right so so anyway folks I've been promising everybody on the channel that way to get back into submarines and here we are we're back in cold waters with the epic mod and we are running version 2.46. I have been watching uh, Epic Mod's website to see if uh, uh, any other uh, updates have come out. Nope. It looks like we're stuck at 2.46 for now. And that's fine with me. So, I think what we're going to do today, we're going to do a single mission. And uh, let's go to Mission Editor. And what I want to do is take out... We're going to be playing the Soviets. We're going to take out the November class, the Soviet Union's first ever nuclear powered submarine against the Nautilus. Let's do that. Let's do that. So let's go to Mission Editor. And Epic Map Russia. We'll keep it there. Okay, let's go to Units Group 1. We will do 1 and 1 aggressive. And where is the USS Nautilus? Let's find her. Here we go. Let's go through the stack. There it is. Nautilus. Accept. Okay. So let's start. Hopefully. Alright. So we've loaded a, a, a custom mission. We're going to take out the November against the Nautilus both nations first nuclear powered attack submarine so let's find the nautilus or the not nautilus the november <laughs> uh it's been a while since i played this game oh there she is november class ssn all right let's look at the end game stats so dimensions 107.4 meters by 7.9 meters wide the November is displacing 4,750 tons. Uh, she'll do 30 knots, flank bell. And she has a crew of 105. Test depth of 787 feet. Uh, torpedo stores, tube stores, 20 internal weapons. Number of wires, zero, obviously. And self noise, 132 decibels. This girl is loud. Gosh, she's loud, guys. Uh, offensive weapons, we got the set 65s for, uh, let's see, 53, 58, and, uh, nuclear warhead. <laughs> so we got some nukes. Uh, the Sayat 60 torpedoes and the 53, 65 wake homing torpedo sensors. We got the Snoop Pair Search Radar ESM mast mounted. We got the Pike Jaw active and passive sonar high frequency hall mounted. That's going to be, uh, let's see here. So we got a, let me show you guys what's up. Sonar array on the sail, sonar array up here, and then we have a chin mounted solar array. So, this is the alpha model. Uh, notes designed in the 1950s, poorly armed, loud, and with inferior sonar systems. Uh, these were the Soviet Union's first nuclear submarines. Over the years, they have received little in a way of upgrades. They got the alpha, which dropped that down here. Uh, their second rate opponents. Well, let's see what Old Man Rebel can do with her. 
Accept. Okay, we're gonna be in command of K-133. Effective immediately, you're hereby sign. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here we go. So, we should be taking on the Nautilus. So, let's see what happens. Uh, new sonar contact, bearing 151, designate contact Sierra 1. We are 390 feet. Our course is 093 degrees, speed 5 knots. Uh, local conditions, no surface duct. And we got a weak thermal layer at 85 feet. So, let's see what we can do with that. I don't know, guys. The November is a bus. It's loud. It's like a dump truck going through the ocean. So I don't know how it's going to pair up against the Nautilus. Let's see what happens. Alright. New contact bearing 030, designate Sierra 1. Alright, well. There's Sierra 1. We have no idea who Sierra 1 is. Let's go ahead and uh, get on Sierra 1. Right. What's our conditions? Alright. 5 knots, 380, oh, 390 feet, sorry. Oh god. Gosh, she's loud. Let's see what we got, though. Weapons. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're loaded, the bear boys. Damage control, everything's good. Signature. So, who are we looking at here? Let's see what we got. Probably a surface contact. It's not a biologic. I recognize that one. And let's see what we got. Let's go through the stack. I think it's uh I think Sierra was gonna be a surface contact because it's not matching anything that you would expect to be a submarine. So keep going through it. Commander, my course. Steady course zero two nine degrees, speed five knots. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Sierra 2's cavitating. Okay. New contact bearing 150 degrees, detonate contact Sierra 2. Sierra 2's cavitating. And surface ships don't cavitate. Oh, he's close. Holy shit, he's a starboard. Alright, bring her about. Oh, it's close. He jumped right up on me. Hey, good morning, Brian. Uh, Brian writes to the stream, good morning. I love your naval action content. I'm scat on there if you ever see me. I've seen you before, bud. And thanks for uh, joining. Yeah, we're not doing naval action today. We're gonna, uh, I've been promising everybody some submarine action, so we're trying to, uh, we're trying to track down Contact Sierra 2. Okay, Contact Sierra 2, relative bearing 153 degrees. Course and speed is unknown. Range 5,200 yards. She dropped right on me. Now, folks, Sierra 2 was cavitating. Sierra 1, right here, I believe, is a surface. Got shit. We just lost her. Damn it. All right, slow us down. Let's rig the ship for ultra quiet. I'm gonna drop us to two knots. Now, folks, in November, very loud. Not a very good sonar suit. Something 
was just to the starboard over here. So I'm going to come back around. Oh, man. I have not played this game in a minute, folks. But we're going to find them. Patience. Patience, everybody. Yeah, two knots. Slow us down. Nice and quiet. Well, as quiet as we can be. Son of a... There's Sierra 2. Okay. We still got Sierra 2. Okay, so let's look at the November. I'm out of Victor. So... 132 decibels. This ship is loud as hell. It, it, it's just, it was the first ever made. Um, sonar, the pike jaw. Okay, so Sierra 1 has been classified. I called it. It was a surface contact. It's a merchant. But, Sierra 2. We have no idea who the hell that is, <laughs> so we're going to keep going towards CR2. Son of a bitch. She faded. Man. I don't think the Nautilus was that quiet. Was it that quiet? No way. Where's the Nautilus at? Let's find the Nautilus. That's who we are hunting. So let's go to the Nautilus. My little cheat book here. Uh, made it go all the way through this, guys. Hey, maybe we'll do a stream of me taking on a carrier or a battleship. That'd be kind of cool. Alright. Let's keep going through it. Go back to the American boats. I want to see yeah I gotta go through all this crap restart okay barbell diesel electric guppy diesel electric electric Nautilus the Nautilus is doing 131 decibels so she's noisy too if I look at me I'm 132 Okay. Alright. But I bet you money she's got a better uh, sonar uh, system and everything else. The, the torpedoes, I think they're Mark 37s or something like that, so they're very slow. They may be water guided. I think they are, but they're slow as hell. Alright, she's rocking the AMBQR 2 multi frequency. Okay. Mark 37s, Mark 45s, and Mark 16s. Alright. So, 700. So, both submarines are pretty much evenly matched. So, this should be pretty good. Alright, let's go find her. I wonder if she was shallow. I'll stop. Let's make like a hole in the water. Let's let's just listen. Let's see if sonar picks anything up. I don't think we're going to. Damn it. I don't know, guys. This will be a tough mission. So we know S1's a merchant. Ooh. 
That's a target. We are at war. I wonder. I wonder if we can get her attention. If I attack this merchant, maybe she'll come out and fight. So let's see. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yep, come into, uh, come to port here. I'm gonna go to press scope depth. Now, I do believe we have wake homing torpedoes, so let's see what we get. Oh, yeah, wake homing. So let's reload. <laughs> Uh, we got eight of them, so let's reload. Yeah, tube one and tube two. I'm gonna have the torpedo crews reload. We're gonna load two wake homing torpedoes, and I'm gonna see if we can hit this ship. Maybe that will get the Nautilus's attention. Considering the fact that it is an American flagship. That's a target. Alright. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> We're gonna try it though. Alright, two ones loading. Alright, two ones loaded. Loading tube two. Tubes three, four, five, six, seven, and eight are loaded with uh, war shot for uh, submarines. These are the uh, set 65, so we're not going to fire off a set 65 against a merchant. But what I want to try to do, I want to get her on periscope. Let's do that. Let's put the eyeball up. All right. All right, tubes one and tubes two are ready in all respects. We are loaded with 5365 wake homing. These are surface torpedoes, so... Now, how these work, folks, from what I understand, once you figure out what the target is, course, bearing, range, you fire the weapon, and what the weapon will do is run out to a predetermined course and turn. And what it does is fires the wake, or it, it follows the wake of the uh, ship. So let's see if this happens here. Alright. Let's put the periscope up. ESM. And yeah, let's put the radar up. Oh yeah, Master 1. Okay, so... Target Master 1, bearing 075. Course 173 relative, speed 18 knots, range 4,900 yards. Okay, so we're turning towards him. Alright, so where's he at? Bearing 076. There he is. Oh, I got you. Uh, let's mark target. Target confirmed. Bearing 078. Uh, he's moving pretty quick. He's doing 18 knots. So let's go ahead and adjust course this way. I'm hoping we can get the. the uh, I want to get the attention of that Nautilus. If I attack a ship, it's going to make a lot of noise and she may be coming up. So. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we know who she is. Ah, oh, she's right there. This is a classic textbook shot. Alright, weapons. So if I want to fire... Alright, you see the little, uh... Oh yeah, there's a little... Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna put two fish into her see what happens here. 
Let's get on course, though. So we're speed two knots, depth at 36 feet. We're periscope depth. Rudders, okay, here we go. I'm just changing the course just a little bit. I want to make sure I line up this shot. So tube one and tube two, we're going to fire both torpedoes. And the whole point of this is to get the attention of that enemy submarine. Now if the AI is smart, which it is, it's going to hear me fire and she will turn to investigate. She'll head my way and then hopefully we'll pick her up. So verify target. Hit her again. All right. Good shot. Wait for our okay, rudder amidships. Okay, tubes one, tubes two, we're gonna fire. Tube one. Tube two. Okay, these are wake homing. So let's see. Stickle there they go. Alright, so let's look at the weapons. What do we got here? Oh yeah, here they go. We'll keep the periscope up. But we're putting the radar and everything else. I mean, we know who he is. So, okay, these are wake homing. So what they should do? We aimed at the aiming point. Now. The ship is doing 18 knots on a course of 173 degrees. Relative bearing to my ship is 100 degrees. But what's going to happen is they're going to fall in behind her. And they should turn. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So let's see what happens. They should turn and follow her wake. A little shot of the torpedoes. Just gonna watch the target. Where'd she go? Uh, bearing one zero five. I'll swing her around to one zero five. Should be right here. There she is. Got her. Yeah. Eighteen knots. She's moving. target. Alright, what are my fish doing? Now they should... Oh, I think I hit her? Oh, they went below her. Damn it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, they're turning around. They're turning around. Yep, they go for the wake. I told you guys. Let's see what they do. Is she turning? Nope, but... Watch my fish. They're, yep, they're wake homing. They're wake homing. I think. Let's see what they do. They turn again. I think they're trying to pick up the wake. Hmm. Ah, they're turning again. Alright, so he's on. Uh-oh. He got the wake. There he goes. I knew it. Okay, so... Alright. So we know the wake homing... Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's coming right up your stern, bud. Oh, shit. 
That was gonna hurt. That was a cool shot. Boom! Get her! We got her. Ooh, we just, wow. Oh, we ain't done. The other one wants to play too. Oh, there's no wake anymore though. The ship's not making noise. Oh, 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 it's turning onto it. Are you serious? Oh, we're gonna hit her again. Nope, no wake. She got a miss. Oh shit, she's go. What, bro? I like these 5365s. These are cool. Oh no. Oh no. We missed. There's no wake. There's no wake to follow. So this torpedo is just kind of like, durr, retard. But, we did pop that cargo ship. So now, I want to see if that gets the attention. Oh yeah, she burned him. She burned him. Yeah, she going down. I want to see if that gets the attention of the Nautilus. I just attacked a ship. We should probably get the hell out of here. Right? Yeah, let's go. Bring me to f all right. Let's go to 500 feet. Let's go to 500 feet. I'm gonna change course. Let's go to 180. Just a uh, a rule of thumb, folks. After you launch an attack, dive and change course. Just in case somebody's coming up to say hello. Alright, so we got the merchant. Yeah, she done. She not going anywhere. Massive flooding in the stern engine space. Yep. If that don't get her attention, I don't know what will. Yeah, we're still looking for her. Alright, reload. No decoys. I would say that's a successful surface attack. Don't really use the uh, the 5365 wake homing, but those are pretty damn good torpedoes for the time period. Let's load up. Let's load up the nuke in tube two. What do you think? Where's my nuke? Put the nuke in there. <laughs> Put the nuke in there. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> All right. So we're coming to 500 feet. So Sierra 2. I think Sierra 2 is going to be the Nautilus. No contact. Sierra 2 faded. So we got the Nautilus profile up. That's what I'm looking for down here. So if we pick her up. We'll launch a nuke at her. Actually, hold on. What is the... Uh, the 5358. I can't remember what the launch depth is. I think it's shallow. But... We'll get her. Oof. 
Abandoned ship. Oh yeah, she's sinking. Boom and it's like the torpedo hit. Well, the torpedo came in that way, but it looks like it hit here and it blew out that side. That's good. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, lifeboats ain't gonna work. Oh, the containers got all screwed up. Look at that. Maybe we succeeded here. Maybe we got her attention, because I think she's coming this way. Uh, let's do an act of ping, see if we can pick her up. Let her know I'm here to play. Better. 15 knots. Uh oh, torpedo. She fired. You see that? There's a little torpedo arc. Yep, 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 yep. So let's drive at her a little bit. Oh, uh, we're making so much noise. Jesus. It's alright, though. We'll change course. Watch this. Be quiet. Shut the engine down. Now I saw a torpedo track. We just don't know where. It was right in this area. So she's close. She's probably over here somewhere. So start listening. She go. Two knots. Yeah, let's get some propulsion. We'll start turning the sub. She fired up. There's a weapon in the water. It wasn't mine. There she goes. There she goes. All right, we got we got to kill. We sunk that container ship. That ought to piss somebody off. So let's see if they pull up. Thanks for playing. There should be like an oil slick and everything else, but they're, eh. It's the game. Bye. Down to Davy Jones' locker you go. Eh. That's a big ship. <laughs> That's a big boat. Alright, so we had a weapon in the water. Somewhere over here. And if I'm correct, that was...
probably a Mark 37. It's wire guided, but very slow. Very, very slow. So I'm not worried about that torpedo yet. Let's go to five knots. Who was that? Well, we know who it was, but where's the weapon? We should be picking up a weapon. We're not picking up a weapon. It's when I went active that they picked me up. Yeah, we'll stay at 500 feet. Alright, let's come to core. Yeah, 160 degrees. We just gotta get closer. Just gotta get closer, guys. You know, unfortunately, this is the essence of submarine combat. It's a lot of boring sailing. And then followed by like 30 seconds of sheer terror <laughs> when, when, when weapons are in the water. But that submarines. It's the ultimate game of cat and mouse. Hide and seek. So Sierra 2 is going to be over here somewhere. Now on my tack map you can see it, but it's dim. So that was the last known contact. That's why I'm heading that way. The best way I'm going to hit the Nautilus, i got to close the range because she is loud. And if I can get close enough to her where I can lock her up on my sonar, then I can maneuver and probably take a shot. So we got to see what we got. Because we are rocking these set 65s in them. Frankly speaking, Old Man Rebel has not had a really good track record with these torpedoes. So, we'll see what we can do. We just got to sail. She's in here somewhere. Yep, she did exactly what I thought she would do. She would hear the attack, the explosion in the water, knew something was over here, and that's what I would do if I was a captain. I would hear it and head that way and see what I got. Yep. Oh, she's already on the bottom. What's my depth? Damn, she's on quick. 4,500 feet? Yeah, we're deep. We're not going to go that deep. Yeah, I don't know we're not going that deep. We have a crush depth like 700 feet. Yep, there she is though. Get a screenshot of that one. Suck it. But where the hell is the Nautilus? Yeah, we'll go active again. See if we can see if we can get her to fire. Come on, come on. Come on. Crap. <laughs> you gotta find this girl. Where 
where she go? I'm gonna change my depth. 300 feet. So after an active sonar ping, three three sets, I want to change depth and speed, course, everything. Just in case the Nautilus's uh, sonar crew is on par. God, this guy's gonna be a pain in the ass. I know it. I know it. But you know what? Honestly, that's part of the fun with Cold Waters and Epic Mod, um, and in Dot Mod too. Um, you know, the the earlier boats, the 1950s, 1960s, early 60s designs. We didn't have uh, the Mark 48. We didn't have the Test 70. We didn't have Toad Ray at the time. Uh, this was mano e mano. It was boat to boat, and you just had to find each other. That's how it went. So it definitely makes this level of the game uh, more challenging, in my opinion, because you ain't got all the whiz-bang technology. You actually got to think like a submarine captain and be like, okay, what would I do if I was him? And that's what we're doing. And it doesn't help I'm on a loud boat. All right, change course again. We're going to come to course 126. <laughs> All right, 300 feet. So what I'm doing, I'm doing a zigzag. I'm doing a search pattern. Go back to active. What I'm trying to do... Got him. Got him. All right. He's coming right at me. Ninety-five percent. We got him. Lock him up, boys. All right, here we go. Yep, that's the Nautilus. Let's see if you can hear the sonar. Yep, there's my sonar. Up, oh, she's going slow. Six hundred feet. We got her. Up, oh, torpedo coming in. Oh shit. Oh, that flank, boys. Alright, torpedo evasion. We'll find her, I'll get her again. I just got a damn torpedo heading my way. Six hundred and two feet. I'm gonna come back around to her course. Uh oh. Launch decoys. Uh uh. Not today. Not today. 
Get off her. Up, she's trying. No, you don't. She followed. <laughs> oh, no. She's on me. Kick your rudder. Watch your depth. She can't catch me. She can't catch me. She gotta try. See if I break this lock. What's up, trap? I'm trying to get away from this damn torpedo. She's coming hard, boys. Come about. Come on, babe, break the lock. She wire got it. <laughs> She's chasing me. I'm gonna uh, break that circle. And Mark 37s are slow, boys. Lost contact. Break away, break away, break away. Shift your rudder. Right pole. Nice try. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Come back. Uh oh. She ah, oh, she coming back. She's coming back. <laughs> All right, I'll run her. Take me to seven hundred feet, baby. Go, 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 go. Seven hundred feet. Uh, trap playing. Uh, nice, nice, brother. I'm taking out the uh, November, the Soviet November against the Nautilus. Yeah. Uh oh. I got your pedo. Ah. <laughs> run, comrades, run. Decoys ain't working, so we're just gonna outrun her. Uh oh. She's trying. Can you catch me at 30 knots? Can you catch me at 30 knots? Come on. Oh, she gonna try. She gonna try, boy. She's running hard. I don't think that's gonna work, though. Run! We're being chased, Captain. Here it comes. What's the speed of that torpedo? I think it's 
24 knots, 25 knots. It's not a fast torpedo, it's Mark 37. It's wire guided though. Oh, he was like, come back here. Come back here and let me hit your boat. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> That's gonna run out of fuel. I'm pulling away. Oh man, Rebel's pulling away. You ain't catching nothing. Get out of here. I'm heading right towards the Nautilus too. Maybe I could bounce the torpedo off the Nautilus. I doubt it. I can't slow down. If I slow down, that torpedo is going to eat me for lunch. So we're just going to run. Wait for it to run out of fuel. Got him. He's right there. He's just chilling. I'm coming right at him. What's the depth? Bring me to 500 feet. I want to see if I can bounce this torpedo off him. I'm going to head right towards him. I was like, bro, don't you know you got a submarine coming your way? <laughs> He's just chilling. <laughs> oh, this would be interesting. I'm going to go right at him. Follow me. He's, uh, he dived again. Let's go down. I want to try to take this torpedo right at him. Oh, gotcha. Weapons. Tube 2. Get him. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, no. He's right there in front of me. Go, 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 go. Can't launch. I can launch this one, though. I gotta launch that one at you. Dive, 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 dive. I'm gonna get you, Mr. Nautilus. I'm gonna come up at you. I'm gonna get right behind you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back here. Come back here and let me shoot you. Cavitate all you want, boys. Hey, do a torpedo in the water all you want. I'm gonna run into him. <laughs> Come here, you. Come here, Mr. Nautilus. Oh no! My torpedoes are going. <laughs> oh shit! Come here, let me crash into you. Where are you going? Got it. Uh, and up, hit him. Oh, I just hit him. <laughs> that should have been a collision. Come on, guy. We got. <laughs> Oh man, Rebel took him out with a November. <laughs> well, folks, 
If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. <laughs> Let's go to damage control. Oh, hall 60. Oh, yeah, we took a hit. Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> November 1. Nautilus 0. I right, turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. <laughs> be quiet. Everybody be quiet. We got torpedoes in the water. 500 feet. Any damage on my sub? There's no damage. Should have damage. Uh-oh. Oh, hell. I'm about to go boom. <laughs> I got him first, though. No! Oh. Pumps. Fix the pumps. Fix the pumps. Ooh, that's a big hole. Bring me up. Periscope depth. Do we lose speed? That's a casualty. Get her up, boys. Oh, we're flooding. Shit. I'm trying to fix the pumps. Fix the pumps. Fix the pumps. Fix the pumps. There we go. There we go. Look at the water's going down. Fix the pumps, boys. Need more speed than that, boys. Get me up. Get me up. Get me up. All right, we're climbing. I might have to uh, blow ballast here, boys. Got another weapon in the water. Get up, baby, get up. Pumps repaired. Fix the ballast. Fix the ballast. Yes. Alright, so we're cool. We're cool. Yeah, blow the ship, boys. Give me the surface. Yep, emergency. Ooh, what was that? I know we're capitating. But we got a big ass hole on the port side. <laughs> Uh, we're coming up, boys. Oh, and there's no splash. I really wish they'd fix that. Oh, that'd be great. Alright, well, we're on the surface. Ugh. Well, folks, I would have loved to take out the Nautilus with the torpedo. I came close, but sometimes you just got to use your own damn submarine. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> that was hilarious. Good job, November. Good job, November. Not bad. So we're repairing the ship. You know, actually in real life, it's just a game, we know that, but that would be a casualty. That sub would be flooding, especially at over 500 feet. But it's a game. All right, folks, Old Man Rebel's gonna get out of here. So let's see, we got Leaf Combat. Yes. I took out the Nautilus with the November. Not a clean kill, but a victory is a victory. <laughs> I really got. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, been a while since we played the submarines, and uh, I really wanted to do that with you guys. Take on the two old schools, and uh, Soviet Union won this one somehow. All right, folks, we're out of here. Everybody have a wonderful uh, Monday morning. Look after one another. Take care of one another, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Stay safe.